Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into a daily read for Monday or thereabout. I want to start off our reading by seeing what we get from spirit from this When My Soul Whispered Oracle deck. I absolutely love this uh, deck of cards. To begin for Monday. For Monday. Thank you, spirit. Uh, communicate as well as love. Okay, we're going to go with these two. But um, okay, actually we have five on the board that all feel relevant. The other three feeling like uh, secondary energies being abundance, divinity, and listen, okay? Um, I'm hearing listen to your heart, listen to what you're feeling uh, intuitively and otherwise, listen to spirit selectively, naturally utilizing your intuition, being your top, uh, top tier, uh, top of the list uh, superpower. But I do feel as if it's a day where you're listening, you're speaking even, you're creating, accomplishing, uh, applying yourself and receiving abundance in different forms and that feels rewarding but I want to say that you at certain points need to silence yourself in order to be one with your intuition in order to better create something maybe for somebody but as well just to uh, catch your breath and just enjoy the beauty of the silence even though for somebody if you're as connected as I am to spirit you may find that that moment isn't actually quiet because some people, even in the afterworlds, are chatterboxes. But communicate and love being the two overall energies, because this is a Monday period where you're communicating your way to victory. Communication from spirit and your intuition, all the meanwhile, once again, is coming through, regardless of whether you choose to pay attention to it or not. But yeah, it's a day full of symbols, synchronicities, uh, thoughts uh, that are actually spirit could be dreams as well um, Other people's spirituality and intuition say tarot readings and stuff of that nature Being utilized for a lot to onto the reading, you know, say on YouTube TikTok, uh, Maybe Instagram But so naturally with me mentioning those three social media is part of this day. Sorry uh, There's a negative spirit just trying to push me to um, feel anxious and lose my breath but um let's move on to the tarot portion of the reading when we give you wings fly towards what you deserve is what i'm getting love that um you may even find that you personally and there may be a focus on somebody else not a couple different people outside of you um, that have angelic energy the world card it kind of came out a bit uncomfortable i'm hearing the phrase growing pains um it's a day where you're going to be feeling world evolution development is uh, taking a highlight from the past and currently but then spirit saying well listen to your soul in regards to how you feel and maybe have already uh, rewinding back have gained knowledge awareness wise about how your world is more so going to change for somebody in regards to gaining fame uh, or more so um, or more of which it could be in regards to your finances, uh, love once again, um, or the potential of which. And it doesn't have to be, you know, romantic that talks about potential when it comes to family, friends, uh, platonic, uh, caring, and whatnot. But uh, I feel like there's energy affecting you throughout this day and it really doesn't feel, I mean, hearing satisfying, it just, it's annoying. It's unnecessary. And I really feel like um, there may be as well a focus on people in your life who need to um, stay in their own lane or pay attention to themselves more, um, themselves more instead of um, poking at other people or trying to cause issues. And I also want to say for some that has to do with um, spirits, you know, who join you occasionally or stick with you. Okay, um, there are lessons that we need to remember and even gain, you know, in both realms. Anyways, but the chariot card coming out because I feel you are motivated throughout this day, all right? You can't help but feel the need to communicate, accomplish, create better, or just create uh, consistency or within consistency to the point of abundance, all right? But it feels like there's going to be moments where you hear something disturbing and then you just need to move on, right? Because it's as if, whether it's coming from somebody in your physical reality or a spirit, to hold on to that, to overly or even in general focus upon it, 
is not going to do you justice. Shift on forward. I wouldn't be surprised if you have um, better to focus upon. Also coming out the King of Pentacles. You're going to be feeling bold and confident, mature, responsible, um, reliable is the word in coming through now. But it feels like it's a day where you can't help but feel the need to reground yourself. For me, I know it's the day after my um, busy weekend at my serving job. And so that's part of it, right? But again, energy affecting you and maybe other factors playing into it. Reground yourself. But um, I feel as if some people are noticing how truly grounded you are, right? Um, and that might be in regards to a moment or two before when you're feeling in that specific uh, energy period to reground yourself. Does that make sense? Basically, a uh, prime example is, you know, say somebody's watching me ground it on here, but obviously I recorded it before and in a moment. Otherwise, after the fact, I have to reground myself. Oh my God. It's like I can't catch my breath. It's so freaking annoying. But um, the Six of Wands, look at this. You're absolutely gaining victory. Um, and they're saying that's one level of one form of abundance. You're going to feel poked at throughout this day. You're going to feel tested. But you're going to feel protected and valued all the meanwhile. And Spirit's saying, that's life, right? I'm not saying you deserve to uh, deal with certain difficulties that you have and maybe still are throughout this day dealing with. But it does feel like you're going to feel the positives um, are outweighing the negatives, at least for the majority of this time period. Okay. Um, even if it takes a hot second to realign your focus, even if it takes a moment of gratitude and uh, looking at things in a larger sense or taking a step back, because being too close to things throughout this day, too attached even, is not going to benefit you. About halfway through the day, don't be surprised when there's a positive shift in your energy field for one, if not multiple reasons, and it may shift back when it comes to the evening time. Um, the Six of Cups coming out, so the number 66 is on the board, and I just heard 626. As well, look up the number 20. Um, but you're going to be seeing flashbacks, all right? You're going to be feeling gifted as well, the two major meanings coming from this card. But I wouldn't be surprised if you want to remember this and that of importance, but it, it does tend to uh, be followed by or come intertwined with certain memories that you try to block out or you just simply don't want to remember, right? Being somebody uh, naturally where your past was not perfect, okay? It had its struggles, its difficulties and damaging aspects. But again, this is a day full of abundance, uh, divinity, uh, listening of importance, communication of importance, and love and victory all the meanwhile, okay? So this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light.